Hi, second graders. I am Miss Kay, and I am so glad you joined me for today's math mini lesson. Today, we're going to be talking all about adding and subtracting within our fact families. That's going to be standard 2.0 AB, add and subtract within 20. 2.0 AB2, fluently add and subtract within 20 using mental strategies. By the end of grade two, know from memory all sums of two one-digit numbers. See standard 1.0A6 for a list of mental strategies. Okay, students, before we begin today, let's take a peek at our virtual class expectations. Remember, as responsible students, we always come prepared. We have a positive attitude. We participate. Our listening ears and eyes are on the speaker. We sit nicely with our camera on, and we always try our best. And if you are viewing this in a classroom, you're not going to be sitting nicely with your camera on, but I do expect you to sit up nice and tall and have your listening ears and eyes are on the speaker. If you have handy a piece of paper and pencil, I'd like for you to write these families with me. And you're saying, Miss K, families, I thought we were doing math. Well, you're right. We're doing fact families. Some of you may have been introduced to fact families before. And let me tell you a little bit about our fact families. Well, fact family can be defined as a collection of math facts that express the relation between the same set of numbers. It is also known as a number family and generally uses three numbers. It helps to understand basic arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division and solve their problems. So we're gonna be taking a look at our first fact family. And in our little triangle here, the first fact family we have, I want you guys to repeat the number after I say it. I have nine, five, and four. Good job. These are our three numbers. And in our fact family, we're gonna fill this in with our corresponding number sentences here. So notice on our number sentences on the bottom, we have two addition, and we also have two subtraction. So let's go ahead and fill in those missing spots. So for our first one, we're gonna write five plus four equals nine. And remember, when we're adding these two add-ins, we can actually switch the plus places and it will still get the same sum. So we can write this four plus five equals nine. Good job. We just completed the addition portion of this fact family. Now let's do the subtraction. Okay, you guys remember, if we want to subtract, the number has to be larger to take away things. So we're gonna subtract from our larger number nine. Nine minus five equals four. Nine minus four equals five. And now our fact family is complete. Let's move on to our next fact family. Okay, I want you to say the numbers right after me. Are you ready? Here we go. Six. One, five, good job. Now let's fill out this fact family. Again, students, we're gonna fill out these number sentences here. And we have two addition and two subtraction. Okay, our first fact is going to be five plus one, you guys shout it out, what's the answer? Good job, it's six. And now we can switch our add-ins and it will still get the same sum or total. So we're gonna have one plus five, you guys shout it out, what's the answer? Good job, the answer is six. Okay, now we're gonna fill out our subtraction number sentences. And for this one, remember we need the larger number to take away. So we're gonna subtract six minus five, which equals one, six minus one, which equals five. And there we go, we have another fact family complete. 
Let's move on to our next fact family. For our next fact family, you guys repeat the numbers after me. Eight, three, five. Good job. Let's fill out our chart. Five plus three equals eight. Three plus five equals eight. Now we're going to subtract from the larger number. Eight minus three equals five. Eight minus five equals three. And there we go. Another fact family is complete. Good job, students. Let's go on to our final fact family. Again, you're going to repeat after me. Are you ready? Here we go. Five, two, three. Okay, let's fill out our chart. We have three plus two equals, shout it out. What's the answer? Good job, five. And remember, we can switch our add-ins in an addition problem to get the same sum. So we're going to make it two plus three equals what? Shout it out. Good job, five. Okay, now we have our subtraction problems. So five minus three gives us two. Five minus two gives us three and we have completed another fact family. Let's review our fact families again. We have nine, four, and five. We use six, five, and one. We used eight, five, and three. We used five, three, and two. Okay, students, remember with fact families, we want to try to have these memorized. That's going to make your math way more efficient when you get into the upper grades and you're dealing with two-digit, three-digit, four-digit, five-digit numbers. I know you can do it. Thank you, students, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. As always, please like and subscribe. Bye-bye.